Hi there and welcome to anybody who's logged on through the website or anybody who is on YouTube floating around. Um, one of our first demonstrations at RV Ops was, the, uh, was on the Hennessy Hammock. Okay, time's moved on. I've got a little bit older, you've got a little bit older. But our range has increased. Uh, our range of Hennessy Hammocks has increased. So what we thought we'd do is uh, introduce you to a few uh, additional products that we've done from, the, uh, from Hennessy, a Canadian based company. Um, talk a little bit about the hammocks before moving on to the demonstration proper. If you look at these hammocks here, you'll notice that they're all replicated. The top row is replicated on the, by the bottom row. However, the difference is that Hennessy now have moved on to making uh, hammocks with a side zip entry. For those who have used, the Henny, have used Hennessy or are familiar with Hennessy hammocks, the traditional method of entry is actually under the hammock through a Velcro enclosure. Just talking a little bit through the uh, hammocks, the one at the far end, the Safari, the Deluxe Safari, is the biggest hammock that Hennessy do, which we'll demonstrate for you later. However, the other hammocks, yeah, are slightly smaller. And because they're slightly smaller, we would recommend, strongly recommend, which will become apparent during the demonstrations, that if you are on the move with the Hennessy hammocks, you get yourself a set of snake, skin, snake skins. It is definitely the way ahead. The scout hammock moving across here, Pete. Okay, the scout hammock is for just that, scouts, guides, younger people, um, or for anybody under the weight of 14 stone. Obviously, this being Canada, North America, read into that what you will. Okay, but that's the scout hammock. The Deluxe Explorer uh, ASIM is for people who are over six foot tall. And for people under six foot tall, you have the option of uh, opting for the Expedition ASIM. So there you go, that's the range of hammocks. Uh, what we'll do now, without further ado, is we'll move on to the next demonstration which just discusses the contents of each bag. Okay, moving on. Okay, we've spoken a little bit about the various hammocks that we sell. Uh, before we crack on, I think it's very, very important, very important that everybody notes that with all the equipment that RV Ops sell, including the Hennessy hammock, please read the specifications. Uh, for example, if you're over six foot tall, don't go buying an Expedition ASIM because it's designed for people under six foot. If you are six foot and over, then you need to be aiming your sights at the, uh, the, the Deluxe Explorer. So that's the little lesson over with. Pan down here, Pete. Let's talk a little bit about what you get in your hammock. You get your tarp, uh, which goes over the top of the hammock. You get a set of tree huggers, which uh, are excellent for basically spreading the weight around a tree. And you get the um, hammock and uh, uh, mosquito net all integral all in one okay depending on which one you buy you either get a side entry with zip or you get the more traditional one which is where you enter underneath the hammock so without further ado we'll crack on we'll go and set up a hammock and then we'll do a walk through talk through demonstration of what the hammock is about and all the things that we like and all the things that we don't Okay, moving on, we've spoken about the variety of hammocks that we do from Hennessy. We've spoken about the Safari, uh, the Scout Hammock, the Deluxe Explorer and the Expedition ASIM. Some are with zips and some are the normal traditional uh, entry method which is underneath the hammock with Velcro. Um, the demonstration we're going to do now is applicable to the Scout Hammock with zip and with the Scout Hammock, uh, with, the, with, with the traditional uh, entry method to the Scout Hammock. This one here is the Expedition uh, ASIM. Now, the Expedition ASIM is for people who are under six foot tall. So if you're over six foot tall, you need to be op uh, opting for the Deluxe Explorer. If you're gonna use the Scout Hammock, you need to be really 14 stone and under. Okay, so in some ways, you could argue that anybody up to six foot, as long as they're under 14 stone, they could get a slightly cheaper hammock because the design is exactly the same. Anyway, that's the lecture over with. What we'll do now is we'll just talk you through uh, the Expedition ASIM, uh, show you a few of its features, and we'll show you the entry method. If you want to know about the zip or, or how that works, then basically just refer to um, the Deluxe Explorer video, which has got the Deluxe Explorer being used with the zip. So, moving on. As with the hammocks, with all the hammocks, you've got your tree hugger here which is excellent because basically it allows you to wrap around the tree without damaging the tree, but it also spreads the load, okay? It spreads the load of your hammock when it's weighted. Moving down, 
onto the uh, cord coming from the hammock, you have your snake skin. Now, what I've done with this, and I'll just ruche it out for you. When the snake skin sits on the hammock, it sits like so. So it just sits there. A little bit untidy, and if it's raining, water's possibly going to come down the tree and it's going to make its way underneath your snake skin onto you underneath your tarp. What I do is I push the snake skin back and I ruche it up inside itself. That keeps it neat, it keeps it tidy, it keeps it away from the main body of the hammock and if any rain is running down the main guide then basically it's going to soak up onto the snake skin and not onto you. Moving down a little bit further, we've got here the tension system to the tarp. This is a prussic knot. The prussic knots will slide up, but when tensioned, they won't slide back down the rope. There's a demonstration at the end of this demonstration on how to uh, tie a prussic knot should you need to. However, this one is integral. It comes with the hammock. So certainly a, it's certainly a knot that's worth practicing because it's used in a variety of situations in a variety of places. So that's clipped to the main tarp and that tensions the tarp. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this side of the tarp off so you can have a better view of the hammock underneath. One thing I just want to bring to your attention is this. You'll notice that this shock cord is attached to the tarp. The shock cord goes down to the hammock inside. So when you're tensioning the tarp, what it's doing is it's actually drawing the hammock away from your body. So we'll just unclip that for the moment. And get rid of that. Okay. So here's the hammock underneath. Yeah, integral with the uh, mosquito net. Inside the hammock, you've got a line that runs along the length, which has got a, a, a pocket which floats above your head. So into that, you can put things like nutty, torches. On the line, you could even hang damp, damp socks. So. Uh, the attention to detail from Hennessy is exceptional. This one is the traditional uh, entry method into the hammock. The other hammock with the zip has the zip running along the side. But as I say, this one's traditional. So how do we enter the hammock? Well, if you look underneath, you've got your entrance. Okay, it's a gaping hole with Velcro. Very, very simple and very, very easy to enter. So we turn round, slide the hammock down, and then we move backwards sit ourselves down, roll ourselves backwards and lift our feet in. When you've got your feet inside the hammock, the Velcro closing actually closes up and seals itself. And when sleeping in the hammock, you sleep across it, not actually down, down the center. Getting out, <laughs> out you come and just stand up, walk away. So there you go, that's the hammock and that's the tarp. Now, using the snake skins to pack it away, and we've always go on about this, apart from the safari, it's certainly worth thinking about getting snake skins for all the rest of the hammocks. This is the reason why. I'm going to dive around the other side, unplug it or unpeg it, and then we're going to use the snake skins and show you how those work. One of the things to bear in mind is that these hammocks don't come with pegs so you need to purchase at least a couple of pegs in order to peg out the tarp. So the hammock now is pegless and now we're going to use the snake skins to gather it all up. So we unravel our snake skin and then we start the march down. And what I do is I actually feed the hammock up inside underneath the mouth of the snake skin make sure I'm gathering it all up before sliding it down and we take that as far as possible before going to the other side at this point I stop and I just take all these lines I wrap them all up and pop them inside as I go along that way they're not at the end and it's not, you know, it's, it's fairly awkward to get them in at the end. It comes down like that. Bit of fiddle.
feed it in. There we go. Attention to detail. Make a good job. Right, so there you go, there's the snake skins on. And it goes without saying that all you have to do is you undo both ends, not forgetting to take down your uh, tree huggers. And you can wrap the, uh, the whole system up, pop it in a stuff sack, or just lay it on top of your berg on your rucksack and make you move to your next location. When you get to your next location, it is as simple as this. You string up one end, you string up the other, get a hold of your hammock, or get a hold of your snake skins, roll them back, Peg out your tarp, job's good and you're good to go. So that's the Hennessy hammock, uh, the Hennessy Expedition ASIM. All the details and specifications on the website. Not really a lot more to be said. Thanks very much indeed for watching. Cheers. <laughs> Are you ready? Right, three, two, one. One, two, three. Hey, dear. <laughs> right, hang on. Okay, moving on. Uh, we've spoken about the various hammocks that we do. We've like spoken about that over with. So, moving around the hammock, what we've got here, we've set one up for you. On the other demonstration, on the, um, uh, not the safari, on the bollocks. What was the one we did over there? The first one, yesterday. The one yesterday, mm. the Deluxe Explorer with the zip. That was the Explorer with the zip, yeah. Deluxe Explorer, should we try again? Yeah. Okay, you still recording? <laughs> because when you get inside the hammock, what happens is it brings the tarp down. So move this all the way up. Not quite that fucking much. 